Hi hey guys, welcome to Forestar Studio. Today I'm gonna talk about the basic material. Okay, first I would like to listen to your opinion about this. Because today I will talk about the basic material. It means that I don't have time to talk about the advanced material. And one more reason. Because advanced material takes me years to study, so I cannot explain the whole thing in a few videos. Perhaps need to spend months and open a new story to talk only about this topic. These are advanced material. A little percentage that I can share it with you. Something like that. Anyway, the question is, do you need to study deeper about this topic? So please comment your answer below. Then I will see how to arrange time, arrange my job to do the whole thing. Huh. Anyway, let's come back to our basic material. Here I have a shaded bowl. Let's run a test. So we can create a new Corona material by right click material Corona and choose physical or legacy. I will use legacy. This is basically the same as Corona material in the lower version. My version is 7. In lower version is Corona material without legacy. It doesn't matter. The same. Don't care about this. Or we can use eyedropper to pick the material. So in this panel, I will explain to you a few important parameters. First, the color. So the color control the color of this material. Easy to see, yeah. Okay. Next level. Level control the intensity of color. Zero eight. Zero six. Four, two, zero, completely black. Okay. And then the fraction. I will talk about this later. Next, down below we have reflection section. So level, level control what? Control the intensity of reflection effect. Zero, two. Four, six, A maximum is one, one hundred power. So you can see in this chart. The reflection from zero two to one. The higher it is, the stronger effect is. So this number control the intensity of reflection effect. It means weak or strong. Weak or strong. Easy to understand, huh? Okay, next. Down below we have another parameter, closeness. Let me lower it down slightly. Zero eight six four two zero. So this parameter control the property of the material surface. You can see clearer in this chart. So from zero two, zero four, six, eight, zero nine. Maximum is one. It controls the property of surface. This is made, and this is. Polish. 
Ha. So, reflection control intensity. Weak or strong. Reflection glassiness control properties matte or polish. Okay, easy, huh? Next. Next to glassiness, we have another parameter. Fresnel IOR. So what this what's this number affect our material? Let me turn back to one and increase this to three nine ninety-nine nine hundred ninety-nine. So as you can see, there's no difference between nine hundred and ninety-nine and ninety-nine. But nine can see difference. Three can see difference. So this is the default number. So now you can see from default number to maximum number. The higher this number is, the more mirror our material looks. So we often use this number for describe a metallic material and this number for a mirror material i rarely use this number but sometimes it depends on the situation okay down below the glassiness we have understood to be so what is it basically this uh, this uh, parameter is working only with a lower classiness if I increase this to 0 0.5 you can see the highlight area it was straight out in vertical direction if I put a negative one in horizontal direction so rotation basically do the same job and if I increase this to 9, it looks like a brush mirror. Very useful. Okay. So that is for the reflection section. Okay. This is another important section. Refraction. So this level control the intensity of refraction. Maximum is one here from lower to maximum. So the higher is the stronger effect is this control intensity between weak and strong. Okay, so down below we have a classiness refraction classiness control what? I will load it down. 08060402. So this number basically control the property of this effect from 02 to maximum. Maximum is one. You can see the higher is the more transparencies we can see through this material. So this number control the properties of refraction effect between opaque and transparent. So remember this control intensity between weak and strong. This control the property between opaque and transparent okay next we have IOR different from this fractional IOR this number basically based on the real transparencies material for example water class some liquid but normally I will keep a default number so never mind Next, we have dispersion. Dispersion, don't care about this. It's useful when you want to uh, render diamond. 
we have a random diamond okay next very important the tin basically as you can see tin disable the classiness and even the ROR I often use tin for architecture class for faster rendering that's it okay so down below we have another section opacity opacity for example zero everything disappear sometimes useful and down below we have another displacement very increasing I will tell you in another section this is a higher level of material volumetric and SSS the same higher level advanced option I often don't use this okay and down below we have a lot of number so basically this number control the intensity of external map if we link external texture to this lot so in this case we don't use it when we have a advanced material theory I will explain clearer about this number and this number very useful in my opinion okay the last thing is fraction fraction so let me jump back we don't have any refraction but if we increase fraction so you can see it's similar to the refraction but if we increase to maximum it means one we still cannot see through the material so this function often useful for some material like wash the, the, the candle wash and plastic some cases okay so I think that's it for today thank you for watching see you until next time take care